Hello, welcome back to the channel RVMCQ Bank Knowledge Booster. Today I am going to discuss about MCQ on gynecological disorders of reproductive system. So let's start the first question. The question is that Procedentia means option share option A fistula, option B polyps, option C uterine prolapse, option D fibroids. So here the correct option is option C uterine prolapse. Next question number two, when the surface descends downwards into the vagina, the degree of uterine prolapse is option share option A first degree, option B second degree, option C third degree, option D fourth degree. So here the correct option is option A first degree. Next question number three, the herniation of the upper vagina along with a segment of small intestine into the vagina. The condition is known as option share option A, cystocele, option B, enterocele, option C, rectocele, option D, RVF. So here the correct option is option B, enterocele. Enterocele is a small bowel prolapse. It occurs when the small intestine descends into the lower pelvic cavity and pushes at the top part of the vagina, creating a bulk. Here, cystocele is also called bladder hernia. It can result from childbirth, constipation, violent coughing, heavy lifting, or other pelvic muscle strain. And rectocele is a condition in which the tissue wall between the rectum and vagina weakens. Childbirth and other processes that put pressure on the tissue wall can lead to a rectocele. Here RVF, RVF full form is leaf valley fever and it is a viral disease most commonly seen in South Saharan Africa, such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goats and camels. People can get RVF through contact with blood body fluids or tissues of infected animals or throw bites from infected mosquitoes. Next question number four. A 32 year old lady came to the hospital with sheep complaints of sensation of heaviness in vagina, tissue protruding from vagina, uterine retention, bowel problems. The gynecologist make the diagnosis of option share option A uterine prolapse, Option B fistulas, option C schist, option D none of the above. So here the correct option is option A uterine prolapse. Next question number five. Which one of the following contraceptives lead to uterine malformation? Option share option A IUD, option B oral contraceptive pills, option C detailed steel vestral. Option D none of the above. So here the correct option is Option C detail steel vestral. That is in short DES. So detail steel vestral, also known as steel vestral, and it is a non-steroidal estrogen medication. Nowadays it is rarely used. Next question number six. The cause of vesico vaginal fistula is Option share option A infected episiotomy after childbirth, option B vaginal hysterectomy, option C radiation therapy for pelvic cancer, option D all of the above. So here the correct option is option D all of the above. Here physico vaginal fistula is an abnormal opening that forms between the bladder and the wall of the vagina. So here in the diagram you can see the physico vaginal fistula. Next question number seven. Which hormone is responsible for the growth of uterine polyps? Option share option A estrogen, option B progesterone, option C LH, option D FSH. So here the correct option is option A estrogen. Okay, so here FSH means follicle stimulating hormone, and this follicle stimulating hormone it acts on the ovaries to make the follicles and eggs grow. Here LH means luteinizing hormone and this LH plays an important role in sexual development and functioning and it helps to control the menstrual cycle. Okay, It is also triggers the release of an egg from the ovary. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फाइब्रोइड कॉज ऑल एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन ए मेन्स्ट्रियल इरेगुलरिटीज ऑप्शन बी इनफर्टिलिटी ऑप्शन सी एबडोमिनल मास ऑप्शन डी ए मेनोरिया सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी ए मेनोरिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन यूटेरियन फाइब्रोइड आर एसोसिएटेड उथ ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन ए पी आई डी पी आई डी मीन्स पेल्फिक इनफ्लामेटरी डिजीज ऑप्शन बी ओवेरियन कैंसर ऑप्शन सी ए मेनोरिया ऑप्शन डी एंडोमेट्रियोसिस सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी एंडोमेट्रियोसिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ऑल ड्रग्स रिड्यूस द साइज ऑफ फाइब्रोइड्स एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन ए डानाजल ऑप्शन बी जी एन आर एच ऑप्शन सी आर यू फोर एट्टी सिक्स ऑप्शन डी इस्ट्रोजेन सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी इस्ट्रोजेन ओके सो हियर डानाजल डानाजल इज इन एंड्रोजेन सिमिलर टू टेस्टोस्टेर एंड इट इज यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एंडोमेट्रियोसिस एंड फाइब्रोसिस्टिक ब्रेस्ट डिजीज ओके नेक्स्ट जी एन आर एच जी एन आर एच इज द गोनाडो ट्रोफिन रिलीजिंग हरमोन एंड इट इज यूज इन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एंडोमेट्रियोसिस यूटेर फाइब्रोइ प्रिकोशियस बिवार्टी एंड प्रोस्टेट कैंसर नेक्स्ट आर यू फोर एटी सिक्स दिस आर यू फोर एटी सिक्स इज ऑल्सो नन एस मिफिफ्रिस्टन एंड इट इज यूज कोस एंड एवर्सन ड्यूरिंग द आर्लि पार्ट अफ ए प्रेगनेसि नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नम्बर इलेवेन ट्रु एबाउट सार्वइाइकल कैंसार इज अबशन सर अबशन ए नाइन्टी पार्सेंट एसोसिएटेड उथ एच पी भि एच पी भि मीन्स ह्यूमेन पेपिलोमा भाइर ओके एंड इट इज द मोस्ट कमन सेक्सुअल ट्रांसमिटेड इनफेक्शन नेक्स्ट अबशन बी नाली पेराइटी नाली पेराइटी मीन्स ए ओमेन Who has never given birth to a child? Next option C, OCP. OCP is oral contraceptive pills. Next option D, immunocompromised patient. So here the correct option is option A, ninety percent associated with HPV. Next question number twelve. Risk factor for cervical cancer is option C, option A, HPV. Option B, smoking. Option C, early sexual intercourse. Option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is option D, all of the above. Next question number thirteen. Earliest symptom of cervical cancer is option C, option A, irregular vaginal bleeding. Option B, postcoital bleeding. Option C, full smelling discharge. Option D, pain. So here the correct option is. Option A, irregular vaginal bleeding. Next question number fourteen. The most common cause of death in cervical cancer is option C, option A, hemorrhage. Option B, uremia. Option C, infection. Option D, metastasis. So here the correct option is option B, uremia. Next question number fifteen. The most malignant endometrial carcinoma is option C, option A, adenocarcinoma. Option B, adenocarcinoma. Option C, mixed adenocarcinoma. Option D, clear cell carcinoma. So here the correct option is option D, clear cell carcinoma. Next question number sixteen. Long term. Tamoxifen therapy may cause option C, option A, endometrial cancer, option B, ovarian cancer, option C, cervical cancer, option D, vaginal cancer. So here the correct option is option A, endometrial cancer. So here tamoxifen therapy. It is a type of hormonal therapy known as a selective estrogen receptor modulator. In short, we can say SERM. Okay, here the drug attaches to hormone receptors, specific proteins in breast cancer cells. Okay, once the medication is inside the cells, it stops the cancer from accessing the hormones they need to multiply and grow. So, tamoxifen is used mainly to treat hormone receptor positive breast cancer. or you can say breast cancer with cells that have estrogen and or progesterone receptors on them next here relaxifen is used mostly to prevent and treat osteoporosis 
that is very weak bonds in postmenopausal women next question number 17 the most common ramsell tumor of the ovary is options are option a choriocarcinoma option d dysarminoma option c embryonal cell tumor option d malignant teratoma so here the correct option is option b dysarminoma